rolling. <laughs> that sounded pretty good. Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And I featured this car on TikTok saying it's coming soon. So I have Tim Wong here with me. Tim, what year make and model is this one? This is a 1968 Oldsmobile 442 and it has the W30 option. What's the color on this one? This one is Willow Gold. You're going to like this one, I think. Let me know what you think of this one in the comments because it took a little while to find a nice 68 Oldsmobile that looks just like that. And that looks great in your rear view mirror. Now one thing I'll point out is check out the intake scoops on the bottom of the bumper. And I'll feature those right now get a little closer so you can see those right there. So that sucks the air in to the 442. It was interesting what they did with the headlights in my opinion, how they spaced them but they moved them into, into the center rather than a lot of times four headlights would be pushed out to the ends. And I think it really gives it a good look. Now you've had this one since how long? Come on with me. I bought it in uh, 1995. So this car has been a uh, one of those that I call almost forever cars. You've had it for a long, long time. Yes. Yeah, it's a member of the family now. And I can see why. Let's just get right there. Now tell me about that stripe. Was that specific to 68? Uh, yes. Uh, that was, the stripe was only available in 68. It was an option and it came with the W30 package. Really unique how they just decided to do that up the fender and down. I don't recall maybe like a Grand Sport Corvette but anything else that did that. Is this, uh, this looks intake you could see yeah, that's, sucks that's air in. Yeah. That is functional. Or, or pushes air out. From pushes air thing. out, right. And an interesting little coved mirror. I want to show you that. You know, not pointed like a sport mirror. And really great body design how they did that with the arrow rear end to it. I'll get closer to it and show those trumpet exhaust, but I wanted to give you a real nice flavor of that pointed rear end. I always enjoyed the real thin tail lights like that too. Yeah. Yeah, there's, uh, I, I like those tail lights uh, that uh, kind of sold me on the 68. Because 69, they changed it. Yeah, they made them a little wider, correct? Well, they made it wider and then it was up here. Yeah. So you've got your Oldsmobile Rocket, your very distinct 442. A, a subtle color giving a slight sleeper feel but no no taste of feel, uh, sleeper in this car and then a real nice touch too was the trumpet exhaust and I see this is not your father's old wheel that's great let's open that shall we okay I just want to show the marker light too with the Oldsmobile rocket on it thought that was great the uh, now we've get, we're going to do a shortened version of the trunk and treats and then we'll do a longer version. If you want to see the longer extended cut version of the trunk and treats, you'll need to look in the description of this video to find those information. All right, so there'll be a link in there. So we're showing you, you now having fun at the beach and you're going to see that we've got this full book, The Youngsmobile from Oldsmobile, with all of the details, and I'll go through some of that. And then we've got the catalogs, which I'll just show you a couple of quick pictures. I thought that was a great picture to share with you. That's exactly what it looks like when Lou comes home. My wife's exactly in that outfit, on top of the car, just like that, every time I come home. So it was so comfortable for me to see that picture. Obviously, I'm kidding. She'd be giving me a quick snap upside the head on that one, as you could see. But we'll go through this in much greater detail. And this is actually one of those 68 brochures. But I want to give you a little snapshot of that. And that's really good stuff right there. They're showing, obviously, the Tornado and the Cutlass and the 442. The Oldsmobile's for 68, the Stallion. the paratrooper jumping into his, and that looks like your color almost. Is that I, your color? I think so. Yeah, it might yeah. be. Paratroopers just jump into this car. Yeah. 
with your 400 cubic inch 350 horsepower rocket. 442 is the Young's Mobile for the purest. Looks like a guy going by on a bike and she's taking a stopwatch on him. And here's your biker friend right there. So, uh, just in time to catch people. And there's your biker number 35 and your Oldsmobiles, the Cutlass Supreme four door, and sometimes your skiing adventures as well. Although, with the rear wheel drive, I'm not sure how well that would work versus the Toronado. So, again, I'm going through this very quickly, just giving you some of the pictures that you can enjoy. The Delta 88. There's your Toronado for 68. That's a good one. Scuba diving in your Vista Cruiser. And looking good in your mirror. And the kids, of course, have to play with the buttons. That's a natural thing. Now that's quite the outfit right there. That's what I'm talking about. Like that outfit there. You'll also see you can feature this. And we'll also feature this letter talking about that this is officially what this car says it is. You could slow down and see that. And again, we'll go through greater detail. But that's from the Historical Society. So we'll close this for now and give you a much greater details. May we go to the interior? Yes, sir. Now you've got the rally, let me pause for a second, you've got the rally wheels on this. Yeah, these are the SS2 wheels. That was an option? Uh, yes. And I like the red lines. Yeah, the, I went with the red line radials. Actually, these are 15 inch wheels. Uh, what came with the car were 14 inch wheels. Mm -hmm. But I like the way the 15s fill up the wheel wells better. I think so too. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, runs runs better, I think, on the road. Yeah. Let's open that up. We'll feature, first of all, let's feature our buckets there. Nice pattern on the seats. As you can see, I see a optional rear window defrogger yes. back here that I noticed that you could see from there. Our hood liner. And let me just share with you that view of the instrumentation. You're greeted by the body by Fisher and I'll show the door. There's a nice, I want to get close up, there's a nice pattern in the top half of that door. And then a good move too is right by the door handle that you pull up. It has this nice piece right here so that you don't scrape anything. Uh, I, 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 should point out, I should Please. point out that uh, the, this interior is from 1968. Except for I had to have the uh, buckets uh, uh, recovered. That's the only thing. Otherwise, everything else uh, uh, is original. Part. Yeah. Really sounds good. You got your Oldsmobile rocket. I like the way they lay that out. Your clock inside the tack. That's the uh, tick-tock-tack. Tick-tock-tack. Just leaning back here. You've got your AM-FM Oldsmobile radio. And I'm guessing that shifts as you move it over. Yeah, it's AM to FM. AM to FM. That was an option. The AM-FM? Yes. Well, the radio was an option. Yeah. <laughs> the radio itself was an option. Yeah, right. Right. AM-FM was a step above that. And then your 442, nicely pronounced. And there's your w rear window defogger button right there. I also want to show we've got our four speed with the lock, as it says. And then also importantly, notice that 442 with the Hurst right there. And then your Oldsmobile rocket right there really nicely put together is this an ashtray yes it is how does that open uh, 
pushing on the top. Push. Oh, okay. All right, got it. Because I was looking for like a handle. Nope. Conveniently positioned there. I got it. Okay. We've got our brakes. Where's your uh, high beams? Are they back there? Oh, on the left. Oh, okay. They're back there. I see them now. There it is. Oh, over yeah. Well, I got the parking brake on. The parking brake's on, right. So it's all the way behind the parking brake. Let's open the uh, hood, shall we? Okay. Thank you. Watch your head there. I will watch my head. Now, I said that before, and the next thing people hear is this bong. Now, these red inner fender wells signify the 442 or the W30? That's W30. That's W30. And here you see these snorkels. Yes. Coming up now. That's I mean, all part of the W30 package with the, the ram air intake through the snorkel into the air cleaner. Also, the red fender wells, uh, you know, they did it for lighter weight. They're plastic. The correct color for the block there. Yeah, it's a 400 cubic inch uh, engine. It's an Oldsmobile bronze. It looks like you have new intake manifold or uh, exhaust manifolds. No, those are original exhaust manifolds. Really? And they're X, so clean. Yeah, X and Y. Those are hard to find too. There's your Y. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, right here on the front. Yeah, I see it now. Yeah. And here's this connecting piece. I love yeah. how this car, obviously we've got a different radiator because the old radiator Tim shared with me uh, it was unrepairable. So we had to put that on there. But I like how this one all has all, I mean, all the correct foam underneath it. And under that. So here's your X. I didn't notice that at first, but I'll feature it now. Anything else I, I should know uh, about this the, car? The heads are D heads. Oh, I see, you see that the now. D? Yeah, I do. Yeah, which uh, has bigger valves. That's part of the W30 package. Part of the W30 package. And also, you couldn't get power brakes with that option. There's our tag that people will love to see. You couldn't get power brakes with that option. Right, or air conditioning. Huh. Cool. <laughs> it's like this. Yeah, we like that. It's like, all right, great. No, I, so, we'll take so, the W30. We'll take the yeah. W30. We don't need the other stuff. That's you, awesome. You just got to step yeah, harder yeah, on the step brakes. Harder on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. All right, let's fire it up. Okay. We'll listen to, uh, we'll step on the brakes when I'm back there just to show the taillights. And then we'll uh, let it idle. And then we'll give it a good rev. see these yeah no this is pretty good this is pretty rare how yeah. did you know when you were looking that you wanted you know this car what made it unique for you uh i wanted something unique you know i, I didn't want a chevy but i, I like i like the gma bodies and uh you know, i didn't want to see myself coming and going yeah so so Oldsmobile and, and when i was 
younger, my uh, dad had an Oldsmobile. Uh, so, and, and I, uh, and his friends, you know, some of them had Oldsmobiles. And uh, that kind of caught on with me, you know. Made a nice impression. I just want to show people this ride we're on. It's beautiful. smile like small children. <laughs> that is, that's great. <laughs> what a perfect day. This will... Yeah, beautiful day. Yeah, this will get people feeling really good. This ride right here. Now, you said your your son is uh, was well, a young man and you started doing some... Yeah, water. when I picked up this car, it was 1995. My son was three years old. And I wanted something that we could do together. Yeah. And, uh, you know, now now he's 27. I'm sorry, now he's 28. And he's a bona fide gearhead. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah. And he's got dibs on this car. He's got dibs on All this right, car. All right, he's got yeah. dibs on this car. This will make him feel good when he sees this video. That's right, yeah. Just, uh, just so he knows. He says this car is his. I say, well, come and get it. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Give us a little acceleration right here. It's perfect. What a beautiful, what a beautiful road, right? It is beautiful. Oh, yeah. Tim, fantastic time. Great car. Oh. Thanks so much for being at my car store. Hey, thank you. It was fun.